What's up, Reefers? Come check it out. Alright, so we shot of a main display today, and this week the alkalinity on this one is about uh, 9.2 kh, and my other dis well, my 20 gallon quarantine is at about 10, so doing good there. Nitrates on this one here, I bumped it up to 10 parts per million and the phosphates are pretty low 0.05 or so and I'm uh, probably gonna have been dosing it back up to about 0.1 parts per million phosphate all right so here let's check it out what's up you little tang let's check it out I just got through feeding the yeah, little tang I just got through feeding the elegance core right here a little bit of Correct. Tuna as well as the bubble corals right here looking pretty crazy green bubble to the left Right bubble to the white the right one is a little bit smaller trying to green was really start getting big on me But I tried to feed the white one a little bit more What have we got over here? I have my Toad stool over here Looking pretty crazy right there mushroom corner over here. I got the Got the Alex Poro Corals uh, Bounce Orange Red Discosoma right there, which is just crazy. Just popped up from the normal red ones that I had. So hopefully, the other ones that will split from this one will be the same too. Bounce Discosoma. Other than that, everything's well. The sun that died, died down as far as the red slime, I had a little bit of red slime up here and down in the coral scrubber. And um, as far as like the the kind of a di or um, dino flagellate, kind of an orangey brown as well, starting to die down. So that's good. I have a feeling it was from the new crushed coral that I had put down there. So it was definitely like settled in from adding the little bit of fresh crushed coral after about uh, six months or so. Seemed like that's what it's been about. And uh, but. I had the protein skimmer off there for a couple of weeks as a test and so I don't know if it was that or something else but definitely have one of the this the Garf Bonsai Garf Bonsai definitely get a little bit of a rapid tissue necrosis right there going downhill I mean and uh, just got that one and I had the See if I can get a shot of the Christmas Marabolus. It's right there. Nothing left on the frag. That one burned out on me too. As well as the rainbow splices over here. Cause this one here is so good so far. Hopefully. And except the one up here is definitely looks like it's dying there in the base. So hopefully it'll be okay after a while check back might be losing one right here guys but everything else seems to be doing pretty good it's a close shot of these gone astrias right here turn of an area cup of coral I think that'd be a good spot for one right there kind of underneath see if it starts to grow bigger and the fireworks Fireworks Acropora doing pretty good. Samo Coral Garden, same thing. Yep, guys, alright, so I guess that's just fed the CDO fungi a little bit too. Piece of tuna, there it is. Got the, the it's, the, it's a purple, but they're calling it at a top shelf aquatics, the blueberry style Lophora. Just growing crazy right there, so looking like settling in with my Stylophora garden and got a poor garden right here, starting to bounce back little by little. All right, guys. Well, I guess that's that's about it from the well. There's always more to check out. Let's see. Got this one right here. Still same thing. Christmas tree worm rock doing pretty good as far as the, the, the Christmas tree worms are except the parietes is all died off on it 
Hopefully we'll get something, an another variety to another coral on it encrusting. But other than that, the Christmas tree worms themselves are looking good. Bright Blastomusa right there. And my clam garden right here. It's got the Squamosa to the top. Blue Maxima right there. And the other three are the purple Croceas. Looking good there. Gold one right here. Goldish brown. Alright guys, well let's see. I got that. What else have we got, Yellow Tang? That. Check out what's going on with my 20 gallon. Quarantine over here. And hanging out. So good so far over here. Got the... These rainbow low macro pour up just pulling up to the top and the bottom, so looking good there. And I got the key lime pie, the same thing here as well. Really starting to um, encrust onto the rocks right next to them. And this is the kryptonite ten units right here from. Keith the Burgle Hammer at Reef Bomb and it's doing good right there. So I look forward to get that one into the main display. And into the right right there, got a little bit of encrusted uh of the the orange uh, digitata there. And so on the top there's a little bit of the Garf Bonsai Acropora that's encrusted there on the rock too. And mushrooms there in the corner. And the other uh, Acropore right here. This is the frog spawn. Frog spawn. The frog skin. Frog skin acropore. There he is. I think he's actually growing a little bit there on the bottom of it. Encrusting a little bit onto the frog plug. Good color. Good power extension. Hopefully this one will live this time. I don't know how many. I think. Well, I think I tried on at least one or two other frog skins that just didn't make it but and so yeah that's the one just gotta be patient what we got over here i got this is the toadstool that's uh the baby toadstool that was there so nicely attached to that rock like replacing the other toadstool that was there and the mushrooms mushroom corner right here same thing this red one is looking so crazy big it's Almost the same size and diameter as the fluffy fuzzy mushroom above him right there. Good, almost two and a half inches. And same thing with this uh, this uh, mother uh, blue spotted discosoma, continuing to slowly deteriorate. I think it's just from old age. Like I said, it got it. Produced a whole bunch of babies right here to the left. I have like almost sit five or six seven maybe more babies right there so yeah it's interesting there it is probably gonna be just looks like it's gonna just deteriorate right there okay other than that i guess that's it same old thing well I increased the lighting a little bit on these guys um moved this one down inch by inch and it's at 100 and then on the main display over here i got it up to 80% right now as far as the um, as peaking peak hours I've got like four hours of, of max light and uh, and then a, like six hours total of uh, pretty much bright ish light and then the rest of the time it's really really low intensity all right guys well it's a quick update there but happy reefing and check you on the next one bye